Hey everyone, welcome to STEMAGEER, your source for expanding your imagination and learning all about STEM related topics. If you would like to watch more of my content on STEMAGEER, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new STEMAGEER video. If you also like this video, drop a like down below. And now on to today's topic. Do you ever wonder how we're able to travel by air? Do you also wonder how planes stay in the air when they fly in the first place? Today we'll be exploring the science on how airplanes fly. To understand how airplanes fly, it is important to understand a concept called forces. A force is defined by the ability to move an object by a push or a pull. For example, if I push a tennis ball, just imagine I have it right here, and then I push it, I'm applying a force to it. So now that we know what a force is, what does it mean for airplanes and their ability to fly? There are four main forces that help an airplane fly. Those are lift, thrust, drag, and finally, gravity. Let's learn more about each of these forces. So what is lift, you might ask? Well, according to NASA, lift is a force that counteracts the weight of a plane. Every object that flies needs lift. Lift occurs when the direction of airflow is changed by any object. When applying this concept to an airplane, the movement of the plane causes the direction of the air to change all around it. Most of this change occurs because of the air acting on the wing. Again, lift is crucial because it's what keeps the plane in the air. Now we'll talk about thrust. According to NASA, thrust is an opposing force to drag, which we'll talk about next. Thrust is a force that pushes an object in motion. For example, when planes fly, the source of their thrust either comes from the propeller or jet engine that pushes the plane forward. And for an object to stay in motion, the force of thrust must be greater than the force of drag. Now we'll talk about drag. Drag is an opposing force to thrust. Unlike thrust, drag is a force that decreases the speed of a moving object. For example, when an airplane flies, it faces air resistance, which is a type of drag. And finally, Gravity is a force that pushes every object to the ground. Now that we've learned the four forces of flight, now we can investigate how planes actually fly. When a plane is getting ready to take off, it uses its jet engines or propellers to create thrust to get the plane moving. While a plane is moving, the wings are a key component in flight. The wings are designed with an airfoil shape. So what is an airfoil shape, you might ask? An airfoil shape is a structure designed to split the air flowing around the wing of the plane, where some of the air goes above the wing and some of it goes below the wing. An airfoil is designed to allow more air to pass through the bottom rather than the top. When an airplane reaches a speed where there is no more air, there is more air passing through the bottom rather than through the top, and the force of lift will cause the plane to rise in the air. So we talked about thrust and lift, but how do drag and gravity come into play? Well, drag is a force that always is acting on the plane. The source of drag while airplane is in flight is just the air. When the airplane flies, some of the air moves the opposite direction of the plane, slowing it down. This is called air resistance. So, for the plane to stay in motion, the force of thrust must be the greater than the force of drag. Also like drag, gravity is always acting on the plane too. The plane is affected by the gravitational pull of Earth, which means the plane is always being pushed downward. That's why we need lift to fly, or else we'd just be stuck on the ground. So now you know, we have learned the four forces of flight and how they affect flight. Thanks for joining me in the STEM and Year Adventure. Remember, if you like this video, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my STEM and Year content, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!